Welcome back. I-22 female want him 25 male back. TLDR. I cheated on my boyfriend by accident. Feeling sick to my stomach and I hate my friends that told him. Please help me and tell me what I need to say to him. I made a mistake with my boyfriend a few days ago and I can't deal with it anymore. We were together for two years and I really thought he was the love of my life. In fact, I still do. Things just kind of became stale. We would go on dates, he would buy me things, but I stopped feeling important in our relationship. There wasn't any spontaneity, if you know what I mean. I talked to him about it and thought everything would be cleared up. One night, my friends and I went out and I was having a lot of fun. We were dancing when a group of guys started dancing with us. I was feeling flustered since I'm not this close to other guys anymore, but I didn't let any of them get behind me, so that was okay. After the dancing, a few of us sat down and started talking. This one guy I was talking to was cute and nice. He asked for my number and I gave him a fake one. Some guys are kind of pushy, so I left it at that. I shifted away from him before another guy in the group came up to me. He said he could tell I was in a relationship because I wasn't really mingling like my friends. I talked to him and he mentioned that he just got out of a long relationship. I should have stopped there, but I asked what happened and he told me his ex wasn't exciting him anymore. Things became a routine for them. I told him that I felt the same way and asked him why he didn't stay with her. He told me because it was a lot more fun meeting other women. He could do what he wanted with them and didn't have to worry about any kind of attachments. We talked for the rest of the night until my friends and I left. Before we did, he gave me his number. I ended up texting him while on the ride to my friend's house. From there, I told my friends I would get an Uber and go home. But I went to that guy's house. It was nice. He had his own place and a nice car in his driveway outside. When I got inside, we talked a little more and we ended up kissing each other. Then after kissing, we had sex. I cuddled him and was about to leave, but we started kissing and had sex again. I fell asleep in his bed. When I woke up the next day, I panicked because I wasn't supposed to sleep over. My boyfriend called and texted me, but I didn't answer. A few of my friends texted me and even called my dad to make sure I was okay. I left and called my dad and told him I was okay, I just forgot to charge my phone. When I got to our place, my boyfriend asked if I was alright. I didn't know what to tell him, so I just said I went to a friend's house after we went out and that I fell asleep there. I hopped in the shower and I started crying. I didn't mean to do that last night, and when I got out he was waiting for me. He told me that my friend messaged him last night and said I got an Uber home. He had my phone in his hand and said he checked where the location was and he saw my text messages. He asked me if I cheated on him last night and I started crying again. I told him no, that I would never do that. He didn't say anything to me, he just stood there. I wanted him to hold me, but when I tried to grab onto him, he backed away. He told me to get out before he would call the cops, and I left. It's been a few days since then, and I need him back. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. I haven't been eating or sleeping much, and I skipped on my classes. I'm not talking to my friends either. They ruined my relationship. I made one mistake, and this is how it turns out. Does anyone have experience with this? Is there anything I can say to him to get him back or make it up to him? Update. A few days ago, I mustered up the courage to go back to our apartment, thinking maybe there was a chance to salvage what we had left. But I found our apartment empty save for my clothes and some whatnots that I bought myself. It was like stepping into a horror movie. The place was cold, empty, and damp. All the furniture he had chosen with such care, our shared memories, gone. It was like he had erased himself from our home. Literally everything he owned was gone. Furniture, appliances, my laptop, which he had given me as a gift. Even the food in the fridge, which he had stocked up. The place looked stripped down to the bare bones. All that was left in the fridge was a bag of pretzels I had bought myself. Everything that he had brought with him when we first moved in together, he had taken with him. I panicked and tried calling him, but I couldn't reach him. I was panicking and I was shocked because who would even do such a thing? Did he really have so little care and concern for me to leave me hanging in an empty house? It was as if he had disappeared from the face of the earth. No response, nothing. I'm utterly lost and don't know what to do next. How do I even begin to make things right? Is this even legal? 
We're both on the lease, and shouldn't I be warned if he were to be breaking lease? Is it legal that he took my laptop? I was the one who had been using the laptop and all my files were in there. I need to retrieve them as well. Does anybody have any advice for me? Edit. So I called my ex from a different number. He said he was done with me and he's moved out. That I shouldn't look for him. He hasn't broken the lease yet, but he will not renew it in May. He refused to budge about the laptop and said he had the bill, so it's legally his. When I said I only need it so I can copy my files, he said he had formatted it and erased everything, just like he had erased me from his life. So what do I do now? Comments. It's hard not to sympathize with your situation considering what a lowlife you are. You cheated on your boyfriend and then tried to cover it up. Now you're facing the consequences and honestly, he has every right to react this way. What your ex-boyfriend did with the apartment and the laptop might not be entirely legal, but it's a clear statement that he wants nothing to do with you. You should probably focus on learning from this experience and working on becoming a better person before jumping into another relationship. Honestly, I don't blame your boyfriend for his extreme reaction. Cheating is a betrayal of trust, and your actions shatter that trust. Taking everything he brought into the apartment might not be legal, but it's a clear sign he's done with you. The laptop issue might need legal advice, but you've got bigger problems to tackle here. Reflect on your choices, learn from them, and maybe in the future, you'll be a better partner. You're ridiculous. Get the frick out of here with your entitlements. Of course, it's not illegal for him to take back his laptop that he gifted you. Go figure. Story 2 I met my husband back in 2000, and over the years, we built a life together. We got married in 2005 and had our son in 2010. It should have been a time of happiness and stability, but somewhere along the way, I lost sight of what we had. I allowed myself to be drawn into something I thought was just a friendship. He had been a colleague, someone I had known for a while. We would talk, share stories, and over time, our connection grew deeper. I didn't realize how far it had gone until it was too late. When my husband confronted me, I couldn't deny the truth any longer. I had betrayed him and our marriage in the most painful way possible. The guilt was consuming me, and I confessed to everything, including a one-night mistake from years ago that was with another man. It was like a terrible secret I had been carrying, and it felt freeing to let it out. We decided to seek therapy, both individually and as a couple, to see if we could salvage what was left of our relationship. There was still love between us, but it was buried beneath layers of pain, mistrust, and resentment. One of the hardest parts was deciding whether to tell the other man's wife. It felt like the right thing to do. But I was also afraid of the consequences it could have on both his career and my own. It was a difficult moral dilemma, and I wrestled with it every day. But I decided against it because I felt I'd be ruining his marriage too. Rebuilding trust was another uphill battle. My husband had every reason to doubt me, and I had to work hard to regain his faith. I knew that he needed proof of my commitment to our marriage, and I was willing to provide it. Our young child, five male, added another layer of complexity to our situation. We tried to shield him from our issues, but I couldn't help but worry about the impact our strained relationship had on him. I hoped that with time and therapy, we could create a more stable environment for him. As for confiding in friends and family, I've decided to keep our struggles private. I didn't want my personal problems to define me in the eyes of our local community. But my husband says he needs community and family support. He's already told his closest friend, and now he looks at me like I'm dirt. I've learned my lesson. I don't want any more consequences for my actions. My greatest fear is that my child will grow up one day and hear what I did. I do not want to lose the love and respect he has for me. I cannot bear even the thought of seeing his eyes that look at me with such love and admiration looking at me with disgust and contempt. I'm not saying that wouldn't be fair to me because in a way that would be because at the end of the day, I did make these mistakes. But we are parents and as parents, our first and foremost duty is to protect our child physically and emotionally. How would that fare when my husband is adamant on not resolving his personal issues privately? Please advise me on this. Thank you. Confiding in friends and family is a personal choice, but these are the inevitable consequences of your actions. Your child is also a casualty in this situation, and it's vital to prioritize their well-being. Your marital issues are affecting them, 
and you must consider what's best for their long-term emotional health. However, I hate to break it to you, he will find out eventually. That's just unavoidable. Maybe you should have thought about that before you cheated several times.